Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from Concrete Mathematics textbook. Problem 35 from the third chapter. Great book, by the way. We wish to simplify the formula. Floor of n plus 1 squared times n factorial times e modulo n for any positive integer n. So it's a funny little problem. Here are my hints. First, use the, well, either the definition or the well-known property of number e, that it can be written as a series going from k equals 0 to infinity of 1 over k factorial. So we replace e by this series and then split it into four different sums or three different sums. First, it should go from 0 to n minus 1 of 1 over k factorial. The second one will be 1 over n factorial. Then we'll have 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And the rest is sum going from n plus 2 to infinity of 1 over k factorial. And remember that if l is an integer, then floor of l plus x is just l plus floor of x. l can be put outside of the floor function. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. So first, let's take our number n plus 1 squared n factorial times e. And as I suggested, I will replace e by series going from k equals 0 to infinity 1 over k factorial. And now I will split this sum into three different into well three different sums let's say first goes from 0 to n minus 1 1 over k factorial then we'll have n plus 1 squared n factorial over n factorial then we have n plus 1 squared n factorial over n plus 1 factorial and then the rest n plus 1 squared n factorial, I need some space, and series going from k equals n plus 2 to infinity 1 over k factorial. Okay, and now I wish to consider separately each part of this sum. So first, let's tackle the first part, part number one, let's call it S1. Well, S1, it's just, if you look at that, it can be written as n plus one squared times, um, times n times n minus one factorial. And here we have our sum. 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 and so on plus 1 over n minus 1 factorial and if you look closely mm. this part this part right here is an integer because in the denominators we have factorials which are lower than or equal n minus 1 factorial so this part is an integer the rest is also an integer so s1 is an integer divisible by n because we have n right here divisible by n very well second part is this sum s2 let's call it s2 s2 is n plus 1 squared n factorial over n factorial plus n plus 1 squared n factorial over n plus 1 factorial. If we simplify it, we have n plus 1 squared plus, well, plus n plus 1, because n plus 1 times n factorial is n plus 1 factorial. After some simplification, it can be written as n squared plus 3n plus 2. So it's also an integer giving, uh, so S2 
is an integer. And moreover, S2 is clearly congruent to 2 modulo n. Very well. And what about the third sum? S3. Well, S3 is n plus 1 squared n factorial series going from n plus 2 to infinity of 1 over k factorial. I suggest to write it without, uh, without sigma notation to see the pattern. So it's 1 over n plus 2 factorial plus 1 over n plus 3 factorial, 1 over n plus 4 factorial, and so on and so on, up to infinity. Okay, and now I wish to do the following. Well, I can... Or maybe, you know what, I will write also the first part in a slightly different way. I will write it as n plus 1 times n plus 1 factorial. And now, this n plus 1 factorial will cancel with parts of our denominators. And we will have n plus 1, 1 over just n plus 2, 1 over n plus 2, n plus 3, 1 over n plus uh, 2, n plus 3, n plus 4, and so on and so on. And if you look, at, if you think about it, it's probably a very small number because here we have fractions which get very, very small, very, very fast. So maybe I wish to show that this entire number is less than one. How can I do it? Well, notice the following approximation. Our sum can be approximated in the following way. First fraction can stay the same. And now the second fraction can be approximated from above by some number with lower denominator. So instead of n plus 3, I can put another copy of n plus 2. This next term can be approximated by n plus 2 cubed, and so on. And we see that some geometric progression happens. And we know the so I can put it right like here, uh, like n plus 1 over n plus 2, and I have 1 plus 1 over n plus 2, 1 over n plus 2 squared, and so on. Geometric progression, geometric series. By well-known formula, it's 1 over 1 minus the quotient. The quotient is n plus 2. And it just happens to be, if you simplify it, it will be just n plus 1 over n plus 2 times n plus 2 over n plus 1. So it's 1. And remember that this inequality is strict. Our third sum is strictly less than 1. And of course is positive. So we know that S3 is somewhere between 0 and 1. Okay. We are almost at the end, but I need a new page. Perfect. And now, so our sum, so our sum, n plus 1 squared n factorial times e, Remember that it was written as S1, S1 plus S2 plus S3, and now we know that S1 and S2 are integers, so they can be put outside of our floor. because they are integers. And in our floor, we have just floor of S3, but we have established that S3 is between 0 and 1. So floor of this number 
it, it's just zero, so it can be omitted. Okay, very well. And now let's do our reduction modulo n. So this number is congruent to what exactly? Well, S1, we have established that S1 is divisible by n. So it's congruent to zero. While our second sum is congruent to two. So our sum is just congruent to two modulo n. And now we can write our answer. n plus 1 squared n factorial times e modulo n is 2. I will write it in the following way. It's 2 if n is greater than or equal 3. And it's 0 if n is either 1 or 2. Why I write it in the following way? Well, if you think about it, for n equals 1 or 2, 2 itself is congruent to 0 in both cases. So, and in, uh, in every other case, if n is greater than or equal 3, 2 cannot be reduced any further. So, it's that. And that, that right here, it's our answer. It's our answer. Um, yes, a pretty nice problem, I'd say. To be honest, a concrete mathematics textbook is full of interesting problems. I love this book and I recommend it highly. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.